And let's talk about Apple, world's largest tech firm. It has bowed down to the will of Chinese regime. Now, CEO of Apple says he has a responsibility to do business with everyone, including China. This is despite the fact that Apple's supply chain in China have repeatedly been flagged for human rights violations. Apple is putting businesses above people. That's hardly surprising. Just more proof of hypocrisy of big tech giants. Take a look at the whole story. Last year in September, Apple announced a human rights policy. It said people come first and the company is committed to respecting human rights. But now Apple CEO Tim Cook is putting business first. Cook says Apple has a responsibility to do business with China, despite the repeated human rights violations by the Communist Party. I think that we have a responsibility as a business to do business in, in as many places as we can. Uh, because I think business is this huge catalyst. I, I, I believe in what Tom Watson said, is world peace through world trade. Cook's thoughts are noble, but his company keeps failing on that mission. Time and time again, Apple's supply chains have been flagged for human rights violations. The most recent allegation came in May this year. Seven Apple suppliers in China were found using forced labor. These supplies provided Apple with antennas, cables and coatings, among other things. One of the suppliers was operating in Xinjiang, the region where China has detained one million people. Beijing has been running a re-education campaign. Uyghurs are persecuted, sent to detention camps and then forced to work in factories across China. In the past, hundreds of them ended up working for Apple suppliers. O-Film Technology was one of these suppliers that employed such workers. It made selfie cameras for the iPhone 8 and iPhone 10. O-Film hired Uyghurs to make such smartphone components. In 2017, it shipped 700 Uyghurs from Xinjiang to Shangxi. This was just before Tim Cook visited O-Film for a survey. The Apple CEO showered praises on the company. Cook said O-Film had a humane approach towards employees. He asserted that workers had opportunities of growth at O-Film and they live happily. But once O-Film's connection with Xinjiang came out, Apple quietly deleted Tim Cook's statement from its website. Apple's human rights policy was a response to these revelations. But the company continues to rely on Chinese suppliers despite their tainted reputations. By staying in business with them, Apple is making a compromise, making its human rights policy not worth the paper it's printed on. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.